vacation Monday. And so, what am I going to spout off today about? I'm going to talk about the confidence mantra, the manifestation of your own hopes and dreams, which I, surprisingly to you all, think is absolutely BS. I hate that stuff. I, I manifesting my own confidence. I'm manifesting good things to come my way. They sit there and ohm it out like they're yoga, uh, yogis. If you don't know what yogis are, you should look that up. The only reason I know what a yogi is, because I've done work for yoga studios and I learned some of the verbiage. That's the beginning and the end of my <laughs> yoga training. Anyway, I remember as a kid, I played a lot of basketball when I was a kid and very much enjoy the sport. Still play it today. Uh, if you've watched this for any length of time, you know, my kids are ball players. Uh, my girls have certainly uh, seen more success than my boys, but my boys were very good ball players as well. And growing up in Southern Alberta, if you know anything about Southern Alberta, a lot of ball players around this joint, uh, which sort of elevates uh, the game. Anyway, I won't go too far down that road, but one of the things that my dad sort of worked with me over and over and over again was visualization. You got to see that ball going into that basket over and over and over again. No matter where you are on the floor, no matter what you're doing, that ball, you got to see it going to the basket, which was fine. And then we would practice for hours and hours and hours and hours. Like the only way that that manifest, the manifest stuff, the manifestation stuff works is if you actually are out doing things. You gotta do, it's that whole be doers of the word and not just hearers or talkers only. There's so much value in going out and doing things. I've said on here, I haven't said it as much lately, but we learn by doing. I still learn by doing. I need to be doing it in order for me to learn it. I, I mean, I can, I think I'm, I mean, I'm an adequate student. I can read, I can write, I can listen, I can comprehend. But for it really to stick in my head, I need to do it. And my new, my neurons need to have my hands doing things. And I believe that that's how this works, this manifestation. You have to have the evidence proven to yourself that you are good, that you are worthy, that you deserve whatever manifestation you're seeking. If manifestation was actually, like you could just sit there and sort of, uh, you know, bring things out of the ether, then why don't you just, you know, pick the lottery numbers right? I mean, it's out every week. There's a new lottery every week. Why don't you just pick the right numbers and you're off to the moon? It doesn't, because it doesn't work like that. And unfortunately, I do think with sort of how our media works today, including social media, that we get our fixes uh, super quickly. Like you can, I've done it myself. You know, I need to change something in my car or we have a malfunction in one of the vehicles and I YouTube it. You know, and within 15 minutes of the malfunction happening, I usually know what I need the procedure to fix it, uh, you know, what's going to be, how long it's going to take me, and generally how many swear words I'm going to have to use in order to fix this problem. Sometimes it's just a couple, sometimes it's a few hundred. That alternator I did in that stupid Mercedes for my daughter that was buried underneath it, I was looking at the one in my GM truck and it's right on top. Right there, it's like an apple. Three bolts, out it comes, and it's probably a 15 minute swap. Well, anyway, that Mercedes was, <laughs> I didn't work on it for three days, but it was, 
you know, over the span of three days, it took me to change that thing to sort of, you know, figure out what else needed to come off and how it needed to come off, take the mental picture or take a picture of where all the tubing went so that I could have, so I could put it all back together. But all that to say is that we have so many answers on our fingertips and uh, the ability to solve problems quickly that I think we've become spoiled in uh, how we want results in our lives. You've seen lots of guys that start working out and they start taking steroids. And, uh, you know, the changes that happen in their bodies because of these drugs that they take are tremendous and they look fantastic and are stronger and they're better and you know you can do something like that with over the course of 90 days and look like amazing what are the downfalls of that who knows I mean, there's the, the jury's still out on lots of that there's no doubt side effects to all that stuff so and we talked about the tickets and cheating last week. There's lots of cheaters out there that look to sort of circumvent the system, short circuit their path so they can get the prize without having to put in the work. And I do think that that is a fatal flaw of what uh, social media does. It's There are... I mean, I could list a, a dozen positive, wonderful things that come from social media, from media itself. I mean, I, we all have streaming services now. Man, I remember, and maybe some of you do too, I, I remember when it was three channels. And so there was literally nothing on except maybe a Friday or Saturday night hockey game. And that was it. Maybe the Grey Cup. That was it. Not, there was never anything on. And so we went outside to play. And now, uh, or then it switched to, you know, the Friday night movie. You would go to Blockbuster and pick out a movie for the week, for the weekend. And you would either, you know, watch it that night or over the course of the weekend and then return it. Uh, and that was just seen as sort of the apex of media consumption. And now, my goodness, there's, what is there? six or seven streaming services they all have their proprietary movies if you want to watch Napoleon you gotta download Apple TV or some affiliate of Apple TV it all cost you 25 bucks a month or somewhere in that neck of the woods you know I'm, I'm as guilty as anybody I have four of them or five of them and I literally have access to thousands and thousands and thousands of movies and there are times and I scroll through them and I'm just like, man, there's nothing good on. <laughs> Which is an asinine thing to say, given uh, my, my selection. It just speaks to how spoiled I am in the life that I, that I live. <clears throat> so that, I mean, that's the two-edged sword. Like, there's so much opportunity and selection. And yeah, we expect, when I press the, I want to watch this movie, I expect it to start playing within a matter of seconds. And if it doesn't, I'm like looking at my remote or I'm checking my network or what's going on? Why is this not instantaneous? So I do think because of those situations that we expect that in real life and it just doesn't happen to you can buy followers and you can be be an influencer and you know have three years under your belt remember it's from when you get your ticket not from when you walked into the home depot with your father when you were 12 and watched him buy a hammer it doesn't count man it does not count the new standard is the new bob baker standard is is i want to see your ticket when did you graduate and get your journeyman ticket not this bullshit of <laughs> I'm 36 and I've been in the trade for uh, 25 years okay well, I, and as I've said if I use that standard 
and then I've been in the trade for 51 years, so suck it. <laughs> I can play that game too, it's a stupid game. Anyway, where was I going with that? Oh, I do think lots of people expect almost instant gratification. That's where porn comes from, right? What, what's the what's this the saying that they said you know the average the average 14 year old boy has seen more naked women and I suspect the average 14 year old girl has seen more naked men than the king of England did and he had access to the whole kingdom but it was still there was some interaction there you know and you can scroll through them yeah, in a thousand an hour I suspect. So, I do think that we expect instantaneous results from um, our thoughts. Like, this is what I want. All right, well, here's the road to get that. And it is a, you know, a three-month road, a three-year road, a 30-year road. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. Depends on what you want. I look at how, you know, raising my own children. And, and, I mean, it's, my oldest is 30. It's been a 30 year journey. It's been wonderful, but man, there's been some rough patches in there, man. And if you have little kids, you know, sort of under the age of 10 or 12, they're not quite teenagers yet. I mean, I used to call sort of the, the 10 to 22 sort of the dangerous decade where you got to be on your game as a parent to watch those kids and influence those kids and guide those kids and mentor them because there is a lot of crap going on that can pull those kids sideways and cause lots of problems in their life and my kids were not immune from that I'm not immune from that so this is I don't know one big gobbling goop thoughts but the point is is that you can't manifest shit you gotta put in the work if you want something real then you gotta really put in what's real or it becomes uh, superficial and fake and and you know quote unquote the influencers of this world uh, jump all over it because get what they want so the message is you can think positive thoughts about what you want and what you need in your life you gotta go out and work for it put in the work here's what just popped in my head for my boss used to say this to me all the time uh, work will win when wishy-washy wishing won't get off your ass go to work. My thoughts, not yours. Have an excellent day.